So in this video, we're gonna look at how you can use a meeting in Google Meet that's been created in Calendar to share audio and video by casting your screen to the Meet rather than sharing your screen to the participants. So let's get started and have a look at how that works. So I'm here in my Google Calendar and I'm in the event and I've got the link here to join the Google Meet which has been created in Calendar. So I'm just gonna click on that and it takes us to the welcome screen and I'm gonna go in there and join. So I'm now in my Google Meet and I might ordinarily want to share my screen to um, share a video or something along those lines. So normally I would come down to the bottom here, I'd click present now, I can share my entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab. And sharing with a Chrome tab is good for video and animation as well, because you can choose the particular tab that you want to use, but not everyone's got that option at the moment. So if you were to not have that option, the window of the entire screen doesn't allow the video audio to play particularly well on certain devices. So rather than casting um, them presenting this way, if you haven't got that Chrome tab available, and if you have, you present the Chrome tab and use um, the tab that you want to present, what you should see is if you come back to the Meet, you get this presenting screen and you've got the option here, presentation audio. And that turns that audio on or off. So it's important that that's on. And then during the Meet, if you play that video, then the sound will Hi. come through. Good morning. Thank okay. you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm so that's one way Thank you for of doing that. So, does, uh, what, what's the problem? so I'm going to close that now. Yeah. So the other way is to cast our screen directly into the meet. So here's our casting icon at the top here, which you can decide whether it's visible or not. Okay. The key thing is you must have enabled your cloud services for this to work. Okay. And it must have been created in um, Google Calendar. So I can now choose my tab that I want to cast. In this case, it's um, Holly Willoughby from, um, talking to somebody from Essex. And I just click cast, and it's gonna look for devices that are available. Now, sometimes it doesn't find them straight away. So what I tend to do is just reset and re-enable them. And get it to have another look. And there we go. So you can see there's my TV and my second screen and my living room and lots of other bits available and all of the meets I've got um, ready to go. So I can choose the source. I'm gonna cast just the tab and I'm gonna choose where I'm gonna cast it to. And if we then go across to the cast, what we'll see is it started presenting that screen as a cast as, uh, rather than me presenting the screen. And then, if I go in here and play the audio. With my son, uh, James, through Fairbank, just to we can see that that audio is working. And at any okay, point, so you can just stop the cast by coming back to the top to you, corner so constantly and arguing. stop casting. Well, not, not exactly, because um, there we go. I was in the military for a short while and, and I became a head teacher in the Army Channel so Coach. Just close so, that down. And just remind you, up in the top right hand corner here, if that icon is not visible, go to the three dots, go to cast. And once it is there, if you right click, you get the option whether you always show it or not. Make sure your cloud services are enabled. And then when you do cast any of your screens, obviously make sure you choose the right meet that comes up in the list. Okay, and hopefully that will help people out a little bit as well. <laughs>